For those of you who don't know me, I'm Kathleen Mulcahy. In 2001, after more than 12 years of effort, and I'm sure Heather knows what it takes, Ron Desmet um, and I founded the Pittsburgh Glass Center as an innovative glass center designed to cultivate community, foster economic growth, and change the city. Today, more than 20 years later, everywhere I travel throughout the, this wonderful region, I have met people who have visited the Glass Center more than once. Now with the popularity of Blown Away on Netflix with Heather and Chris, representing the PGC with accolades as one of the hottest shows on television, it's no wonder people want to be part of this excitement at the Glass Center. As Ron and I said from the beginning, we know that if you build it, they will come. Over the years, PGC has attracted more than 55 artists to live and work in Pittsburgh, not to mention the hundreds of local artists that have been trained right here and developed. Would all of the artists who are here, and I mean everyone who's touched glass here, raise their hands so we can recognize you. Thank you for all that you do to make PGC what it is today. A place where people from everywhere can come to visit, rub shoulders with artists and amazing, spectacular, creative people, and be part of something that will change your lives, their lives, forever. Thank you. Good morning and welcome. My name is Cass Zielinski. I am the president of the board of directors here at the Glass Center. And believe it or not, one of the very first students to take a class here back in 2001. As a student and glass enthusiast, I've watched PGC grow over the years and thrive. As a board member, the need for the expansion was clear as we saw the numbers grow more than 200% year over year and the demand for studio space by local class artists limited by the increasingly busy class and workshop schedule. Along with the amazing staff, our board began planning this expansion back in 2018. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah. And as our vision for the future became crystal clear, our board of directors stepped forward with the Shattering Expectations Capital Campaign reaching 100% participation and raising over $1 million. <laughs> Will all of the former and present board members please raise your hand? We'd like to thank you for your leadership, vision, and support. Speaking of former board members, We'd like to pass it over to Allison Ayler. Allison, thank you. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Allison Ayler, and along with Cass, I'm a, a long-lived uh, PGC member. I've been here, I was the immediate past president, and I've been here since I was a graduate student intern from Carnegie Mellon over 20 years ago. So I've been here since the beginning. Yeah. This expansion, funded with a $15 million capital campaign, is going to make PGC even more awesome. It's going to create more studio space, it's going to grow our unique tech apprentice uh, program, it's going to construct a dedicated retail store, and it's going to allow a lot more room for programming. None of this would be possible without the commitment, passion, and generosity of our donors. To date, wait for this, PGC supporters 
have raised over $10.8 million. That's more than 72% of our $15 million goal. And those of you in the crowd that have already supported this effort, I can't thank you enough. You are the fire that keeps PGC glowing. <laughs> Leading the way uh, have been our dedicated campaign chairs and lead donors. I'm so very proud to introduce Kathy and Jim Petrinos. Hi everybody, thank you Allison. I'll be brief because I'm told we only have a half hour before it starts to rain again. So, with that said, we, uh, we're so honored to be here today, Kathy and I. We're, we've been pulled to this glass center for, I don't know, 10, 12, 15 years. And uh, it's amazing the job they do. It's just, uh, you know, we came here for the art and the programming, but it's, uh, it's really Heather and her team that makes us keep coming back. And, I mean, she's a force of nature, and her staff is uh, unbelievable, and we really do have a, I, I've been with a lot of uh, arts organizations, I've never seen a better board that gets more involved and helpful in the day-to-day -day stuff. So, uh, we're proud to be here. Uh, we have a lot of uh, people that have brought us to this point. It's, it's, it's a group effort, and uh, I'm going to introduce you right now to uh, Ricardo Maze from uh, Vitro Architectural Glass, who so generously donated all, besides financial support, all the glass for the new building. So, uh, uh, Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Ricardo Maiz. I am president for Vitro Architectural Glass. And on behalf of Vitro, I'd like to thank you all for joining us here this morning at the Pittsburgh Glass Center to celebrate this milestone in the long history of glass in the Pittsburgh region, the groundbreaking of the PGC landmark expansion. As a long-standing partner of the Pittsburgh Glass Center, one of the premier art glass facilities in the US, Vitro is thrilled to champion this project by donating glass for both the interior and exterior renovation of this facility. The glass used in the expansion, all produced here in Pennsylvania, include SolarVan 72 Starfire glass for the exceptional light transmission and solar control performance. Additionally, the expansion will be the first Pittsburgh area project to use one of Vitro's newest products, Vacuumax. Vacuum insulated glass for truly world leading insulating value on a scale previously unachievable with conventional glazings. We'd like to acknowledge two other partner, important partners in this project. Glass fabricator United Plate Glass in Glacier Southwest Aluminum and Glass, both located in Western PA, and without them, this donation would not be possible. <laughs> Vitro is proud to have earned the, re the reputation as an environmentally progressive glass maker and a leader in sustainability in the building product sector. Our research and development center here in Pittsburgh is the leading driver of innovation at Vitro. And of the 300 plus patents to our credit of that research lab, most are related to reducing the environmental impact of buildings and producing glass more sustainably. Vitro continues to reimagine the future of architectural glass. Our vision is to raise not only the industry standard, but to provide architects and building owners high performing sustainable and attractive glass technologies for the buildings of tomorrow. Please join me in congratulating the Pittsburgh Glass Center on kicking off its landmark expansion, one that will surely have tremendous impact in our community, the Pittsburgh area, and the entire region. Petra is proud to support your mission. Congratulations.
Thank you, Ricardo, Kathy, Jim, Allison, Cass, and of course, Kathleen. Um, I'm a little bit overwhelmed. I told myself I'm not going to cry. Um, but this day is finally here. Um, for those of you that might not know me, I'm Heather McElwee, the Randy and L. Van B. Dollar Jr. Executive Director of the Pittsburgh Glass Center. Um, this is such an amazing day, and we're so excited that we're finally here. But there's so many key people that have played a role in getting us here, including many of our local and state government officials who have helped us secure critical funding and have been incredible advocates and partners. One of those key organizations is the Allegheny Regional Asset District, and we have Rich Hudick here today, so thank you, Rich, really appreciate it. We're also delighted to have several key legislators joining us as well, and please welcome State Senator Lindsey Williams, who represents the 38th District, where our second building is located just down the street. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for having me today. As I said, I'm State Senator Lindsey Williams. I'm proud to represent this area literally just right across the street. Um, but one of my favorite things about being a legislator is seeing the amazing work that so many people are doing in our neighborhoods and then getting an opportunity to lift up that work and support it and connect it to others to take it even further. Um, one of those hidden gems is I've had a chance to explore is the Pittsburgh Glass Center. Their mission of bringing established artists to Pittsburgh to practice their craft while inspiring the minds and talents of the next generation of artists right here in our backyard in Pittsburgh is one that helps bring the future of their craft and the neighborhood. What many people may not know is that we have a long history in glass manufacturing here in Pittsburgh. Starting in the late 1790s through the 1920s when 80% 80% of all glass made in this country came from the Pittsburgh region. So it makes sense that we continue this strong tradition of glass work and glass artistry here. I have my own little story of PGC. Um, when I was learning about the Capitol campaign, they invited me to come and do a tour, and I came with Rep. Inamorado in uh, a few weeks before the November election. And if you know, that means I was very stressed and working on very little sleep. Um, but in addition to the tour, they let me and Rep. Inamorato make pumpkins. And it was amazing. A little scary. I thought I was going to like break something. Um, but they helped me through it and it was a great stress relief and connecting to that um, creative piece in me is something that, you know, is like my New Year's resolution to continue that. And I love that PGC is an entry for so many people to connect to their creative um, part that may be like lying down there. So um, I'm so proud to have worked with the Pittsburgh Glass Center to help secure um, Redevelopment Assistance Capital Program or RCAP funding for this new facility which will provide affordable artist housing, meeting and event space for community members and nonprofits. So thank you for all of you for being a leader not just through your art but bringing opportunity, innovation and economic development to the region. I'm looking forward to seeing what comes next as you continue to shatter expectations. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. <laughs> I'm now pleased to introduce Pennsylvania State Representative Sarah Inamorato, who formerly represented the district that PGC is located in. for our neighbors. But not only is this 
place important to this neighborhood, but the Glass Center and the arts uh, is a key component to our overall economic vibrancy of a region. And this shows that we are invested in the future of our arts and culture throughout our region. And I've seen, you know, when Senator Williams and I were here visiting, we've seen how the Glass Center works to foster diverse voices in glass by selecting a wide range of people to teach classes and participate in their artist residencies and exhibition programming. They have a world-class studio here and artists that encourage youth to participate in glass making, which is so vital for our young people to be able to experience a diverse set of art mediums because it's great skill building for them and the art center has or the glass center has been an amazing partner in that as well so thank you heather and your team you're making a real difference in this community and communities throughout the region and you have been a wonderful partner to work with congratulations on this groundbreaking and i look forward to the ribbon cutting take care <laughs> Thank you, Representative Inamorato. Please join me in welcoming Allegheny County Executive Ritz Fitzgerald to say a few words. Thank you, Heather. And as uh, your county executive for the last 12 years, I have been to ribbon cuttings, round breakings, um, brick layings, you name it. I've been to the big poor but I've never been to a hot pour, so this is a first for all of us today, so congratulations. And echoing some of the words that Senator Williams talks about, this really is kind of the intersection of Pittsburgh's heritage, where we made more glass than anybody in the world. Um, and our artistic nature, which doesn't often get the kind of credit and the acknowledgement that we are. We're an artistic community and have been for decades, one of the biggest. And this. Uh, this place, PCG, PGC, different than PPG, uh, which is again one of our great Pittsburgh companies, which the G stands for glass. It certainly transformed into a coatings company. But I can also tell my own personal history is the reason my great grandfather came to Pittsburgh, emigrated from Ireland, was to move to a neighborhood or a city called Birmingham. It's now called the South Side on the, where Carson Street is, but it was the glass center making of this nation right here in our backyard so what what heather and her team are doing is really part of our heritage and part of our history this is also the neighborhood that i grew up in so my my heart uh, as, as i leave office is i wanted to leave things better than i found them and the neighborhood that i uh, grew up in is certainly better than it was 40 years ago when i was here um, I want to congratulate Heather, I want to congratulate the board and all of the partners and stakeholders who have come together to make this happen. It doesn't just happen with any one individual or any one class, it really is the creative class that Pittsburgh is becoming known for that this is a big part of. And this anchor here in the nexus of East Liberty, Friendship, Garfield, kind of all coming together in a neighborhood that is certainly uh, seen, uh, you know, great, great days as, as we are here. I also want to acknowledge, I know Senator Williams certainly was helpful, but I want to acknowledge two of her colleagues that were big supporters of this, and they couldn't be here today, Senator Costa and Senator Fontana. They were big advocates uh, for this as well. And they do deserve, do deserve a lot of support. So. This is a great day for Pittsburgh. This is a great day for this region. This is certainly a great day for the Glass Center. Let's keep moving forward. Congratulations. Thank you, County Executive Fitzgerald. Our final speaker today will be Deputy Mayor of the City of Pittsburgh, Jake Pollock. Thank you, Heather. Uh, both the county executive and Senator Williams mentioned the long history of glass making in the city of Pittsburgh. As far as we can tell, the first reference to Pittsburgh as the, as the glass city was from 1797, when the first uh, two glass factories opened in Pittsburgh. I'll note that while those glass makers were clearly very proud, as they should be of their craft, they had great ambitions for our city because it wouldn't be for 21 more years that Pittsburgh was large enough to actually be classified as a city. So I think that um, 
their, their pioneering spirit and the way in which the glass industry built this region and built the, the foundations upon which future industries were developed and we grew into the world leading city that we are started uh, with, that, with that thought and that vision. So we are, we are um, uh, very grateful as a city and as a region for the role that the glass industry played in our founding. And I think um, the work of the Pittsburgh Glass Center in honoring that heritage and connecting it uh, to, to, to our current economy, and as the county executive mentioned, through uh, the creative sector is, uh, is extraordinarily fitting and I think would make those early glassmakers in our region proud. Uh, the role of the Glass Center in supporting the creative arts in our region and in building a thriving economy of glassmakers who can also then be in, interconnected with other artists um, it's so great to see folks from across the arts community here today. Um, is really essential to building a vibrant and inclusive community for everyone here in Pittsburgh. Um, I'll, I'll finish with one anecdote. I, Kathleen, I think, in her remarks mentioned the popularity of the Netflix show Blown Away and how that's grown interest in glass. I was at a conference of other city leaders in Boston around the time that I think the second season of that show came out where the Pittsburgh Glass Center was mentioned and one of my colleagues from a much larger city um, asked me how is it that the, one of the world's premier glass centers ended up in Pittsburgh and I said what do you mean ended up in Pittsburgh? Uh, it's not surprising at all to us that we have world-class glass making institutions and other art institutions because that is an essential part of Pittsburgh's character. We're very proud to punch above our weight in that way and PGC is an essential part of that ecosystem. So thank you all for everything you do. Williams, Representative Anna Murado, County Executive Fitzgerald, and Deputy Mayor Pollock. I'd also like to recognize our new state representative, Latasha Mays, who couldn't be here today because she's in Harrisburg doing hard work. Um, but her district office director, Tawanda Carlisle, is here, and we really look forward to working with you in your office. Thank you. So I'll try to go fast because it seems like maybe it's starting to rain. But uh, many of you know me as the executive director, but what you might not know is that I have held almost every staff position here at the Glass Center, and I have been here since the Glass Center opened in 2001. And if you've ever watched a glass blowing demonstration, either here at the Glass Center or on show, on TV, on Blown Away, I'm sure you know it takes teamwork. And like Glass, PGC's success relies on teamwork too. It's the artists, the board members, the volunteers, the staff, the donors, the legislators, the neighbors, the students, the patrons, that's all of you working together that make this happen. And this building expansion is only possible because so many of you have stepped forward already. I want to take a moment to recognize some additional folks who helped get us here today. As the county executive mentioned, um, State Senator Jay Costa, Governor Josh Shapiro, our neighbors at the Bloomfield Garfield Corporation and the Friendship Community Group, thank you guys so much for your support. Our partners in construction, including our architects, Indivina and Associates, our general contract contractor, Albert M. Higley Company, and very importantly, our owner's rep, Jerry Brand, who I don't think we would be here if it wasn't for him, so thank you. I'd also be greatly remiss if I didn't take a few moments to thank our dedicated, passionate, creative, amazing, tireless staff who people keep giving me credit and frankly um, it is deserved by the staff here that are so amazing so I would really like a big round of applause for all of those folks. please raise their hands. <laughs> okay, so while you're here today, please check out the plans for the building. We've got our campaign video running in the conference room too. Take a tour of our current facility with our knowledgeable staff members. They have little um, flag signs for you there. You can find them after. They're in the crowd over there. Um, they can tell you all about the plans for the expansion and show you the studios as they exist today. Also, please scan the QR code to access the campaign video and website. Sign up for our newsletters. And yes, of course, please donate to support PGC in this expansion. Okay, so now is the moment we've all been waiting for. 
Our talented studio staff are going to be pouring, pouring molten glass out of the second story window. It's, it's not dangerous. We do this all the time. Don't worry. Um, and then we're going to ask our VIPs to help us lay the foundation and uh, throw in some colorful frit. And that will be the spark to launch us into the future. So here we glow.